so this is a brand new series on landed home sales in Singapore. How often have we actually received inquiries requesting for the full address of landed properties that we are marketing so that buyers can check on the Google Maps, on the location, or perhaps even, say, drive down to the location to see the unit from the outside so that the buyers can minimize inconvenience to owners and agents ourselves. But are you aware that um, street views from the Google Maps can actually be as outdated as uh, 2019 or earlier than that. Therefore, what you are actually seeing online may not be the actual presentation. As a realtor handling primarily the transactions of landed homes for the past close to 14 years, this has actually been one of the most common questions that I have been asked, especially with the evolution of technology, the facade of the house, the street view as well as the orientation of the house can actually be checked easily via Google Maps, essentially helping the prospective buyers to filter away those unsuitable units right from the start. However, is this really an effective way to do a lender home search? Now, unlike HDBs or uh, non landed private residential homes where the blocks within the same precinct or even within the same development, they are pretty similar in terms of its conditions, the views as well as the environments, except perhaps for their customized renovations if there is any. There is only an approximate 70,000 lender homes in Singapore and if we look up to a property guru, there is approximately less than 9,700 landed listings up for sale, including the freehold and the 99 leasehold, as well as strata landed units, the conservation units, the shop houses units, so on and so forth, on top of open listings, team listings, meaning actual number of listings for sale could actually be less than 4,500 units. And this essentially means that the supply of landed homes available for a buyer's considerations is extremely limited. Therefore, it is if this listing appears in your buyer shortlist of their search criteria, it is probably going to be one of the limited units available for sale in the already very small market for their considerations. So going on to the ground to view the unit physically and checking on the actual environment will be very helpful for prospective buyers to really understand the unit. And getting out of the car and walking the grounds will allow the buyer to really understand the amenities and feel out the place, especially if the buyer has young children or old folks who are relying on the public transport system to get around their daily lives. Because the hidden pathways or the shortcuts out to the main road where the bus stops are, the LRTs, the MRTs, the eateries, so on and so forth, can actually be easily missed out if you are just driving around the estates. And the route estimation for one to walk from home to the main road or the nearest bus stop can also be significantly slowed down by technology like Google Maps itself because Google Maps do not take into consideration these pathways so only when you are on the ground you can essentially find out what exactly it is like to be walking that path and besides many landed homeowners also value their privacy a lot therefore they prefer not to have visitors unknown to them hanging around outside their place unnecessarily and infringing onto their privacy and the worst case of all are agents pretending to be buyers to find out the unit details and approaching the owners themselves to lease the property for sale. So what is your experience like when you're purchasing your landed home? I'm definitely looking forward to hear your experiences. Do like this video and subscribe to us if you find this video helpful to you and watch out for our next video. So once again, this is Gerald Lim from Landed 3072, your compass for landed properties signing off.